It's one of the marquee matchups Mountain West football fans have pointed to since the start of the season. Boise State, Fresno State, two teams picked by the media to win their divisions and play in the inaugural Mountain West football championship game. Boise State, coming off of wins over UT Martin and Air Force here at Bronco Stadium, now hit the road for Fresno to try to make it eight in a row over the Bulldogs, but they know it won't be easy. It's always a good game. It's always a battle, a great atmosphere down in Fresno, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, they're a physical bunch of guys. Uh, a lot of the same guys that we played against last year, so we're kind of familiar with the personnel. But, uh, yeah, very physical, and if they fly around the ball really well. It's just a rivalry, you know, like, it's just that game. It's just, you're playing for something. I mean, obviously you're playing for something every week, but, you know, just the honor to bring that home and have your name placed on that bill jug something special. We've always appreciated our relationship with Fresno. I mean, going way back to Pat Hill, no question about it. I mean, those guys, we came into the league, they were the ones that everybody had the, you know, their sights set on and great competitors, and, and that really hasn't changed. Boise State won last year's meeting between the Broncos and the Bulldogs 20 to 10 right here at Bronco Stadium. In Boise, I'm Jesse Kirch for the Mountain West Network. Now for more on Fresno State, here's Olivia Arms. That's right, Jesse. This Fresno State versus Boise State matchup has been a very hot topic here in the Mountain West. Ticket buyers in Fresno waited in very long lines all week outside the box office for what's hoping to be a sellout crowd. Not only will this be a huge battle between both teams, but this will be Fresno State's first conference game this season. We draw that energy from, from the red wave. and if. Uh, we haven't seen a, an entire full house yet. If we can get the thing packed, with, which it sounds like we're going to, uh, I think that might be the energy to carry us over the top. We need it because we've got a great challenge, as big a challenge as we've had at home since I've been here. And uh, if we can fill it up, uh, it's, it's all the better. It's a good challenge for us. You know, it's a, it's a, good, uh, a good team to see where we're at right now. We know uh, I have, we, we all have confidence in our team. And uh, we know if we, if we execute and we, we do what we're supposed to do every play, we're going to do well. Boys has had a tough time stopping the run, but uh, we've had a hard time establishing the run. So this week I know I think they're going to drop more guys and you know leave the box a little empty. Mm -hmm. And until we can prove that we're going to run the ball on them, that's what we're going to see the whole night. So we need to run the ball so we can establish the pass later. Now keep in mind that the number 25 Bulldogs have never lost at home under head coach Tim DeRuiter. Fresno State was also off last weekend due to the Colorado floods, allowing them one extra day to prepare. Now when these two teams meet on Friday, it will be a battle of the can. The milk can, that is. Kickoff time is scheduled for 6 p.m. Pacific and will be televised on ESPN. For the Mountain West Network Studios, I'm Olivia Arns.